Hello, I was, um, I'm, we're doing the image story, and, um, well, we're still at the play date, and, what was that, Andrew, you're making me feel bad, he accidentally, um, stepped, he's doing a lot of clumsy things, I'll just say that, and, uh, now he's depressed, because, um, I keep getting agitated, I don't even know what that word means, um, so, yeah, we're doing the animated story of Muddles and Kipper. And, yeah, um, I don't know if the part that about Kipper before I got into the car, um, I don't know if it's true, but I'm just going to say it because I don't remember. It was a while ago when I got Kipper, like a really long time. Um, and... Oh, yeah, uh, I don't really know how to animate, so, oh. so, what I'm gonna do is show the phone, take this thing, and just draw, so, yeah, you're just gonna be seeing black and green, hopefully you're okay with that. Okay, so, Andrew, your cameraman, get over here. Yep. Now, don't press anything. Okay, so. So, um, I, not right now, JJ. Okay, so, um, one time, my cousin and my brother went to, um, the dump, and they both came back with, um, these little flag things. I'm going to draw one of them. They came back with flags, and I don't know why. I really wanted one. These aren't going to be good drawings. I'm just going to draw them. They came back with these little flags, and for some reason, I really wanted them. So, I asked them both, how did you get that? And what they told me was that, um, I think it was, that looks weird. I think it was the f July at that time, so... They told me that for a July thing, um, for a July thing, uh, they were giving away free little, um, USA flag things, and I wanted one. I don't know why. So, I was, I planned, I, I was, I was thinking... Don't actually hope for good pictures. This is what you're going to get. Um, so, I was literally thinking on how I could get that stupid little flag. Okay, so I could steal it from my brother. That's too harsh. I could... I could... <gasps> I have the best idea. I could go to... I could go with... Um, Ryan's dad to, or crazy person's dad, Ryan's crazy, literally, I'll tell another story, um, probably in this one, actually, well, me, no, this is a bit beating boost, so, yeah, I probably, no, I'll do it next, okay, um, I could just go with his dad to go get another one, so, I did, go to the dump, and I had to help them, but I didn't, I was just, they literally let me sit in the car, just, literally, I was just sitting in the car, just waiting, and, uh, one of them came, came and told me that they weren't selling, um, the things anymore, and I got devastated, <laughs> like, very angry, but then we went home, we went home, so, there's your car. It's beautiful, I know. Compliment from the chef. Tea. Okay, there we go. We were driving home. And then when I stepped out, um, what should I draw myself as? I'm just going to draw myself. A person. No, I'm just going to draw myself a big circle head. So, um, yeah. Circle had me just stepped out of the car, and then, um, looks like mountains, um, stepped out of the car, and then my mom told me that, 
oval head. My mom told me that we were going to um to go shopping. But um my dad already went shopping, so it would just be me and her. And so obviously I said yes. Gladly I said yes. And oh my god, I'm Peppa Pig. Um um then right when I stepped into the car here, I'll I'll pause this video for a second. So that, um, I could actually draw what it looked like, so one sec. So, um, this is the story of Kipper. And then Muddle, well, Kipper, and then my stitches accident, and then Muddles. And so, I walk into my dad's car, or my mom's car. <laughs> Sorry, I just sneezed and I have a runny nose. Um, and I just look on my baby seat. And I see Kipper. It's a really bad drawing, but um, I see Kipper on there. So, obviously, me being me, I turned around and said, Hey, Dad, or Mom, um, whose toy is this? And then my dad, I'm trying to make his beard really quick. My dad said, who do you want it to, whose do you want it to be? And I was like, free beanie boo time. Mine? The doy. Then he said, okay, it's yours. I think he bought it for me and just was saying that because he's cringe. Um, really cringe. And, um, so... Yeah, and that's the story on how I got Kipper. And I'll show you the Beanie Boo right now. Okay. Okay, one second. There he is. He's really cute. I don't know how I kept the tag on him. And it's, like, really in good and tag. Kipper. I'll show you the inside of his tag. I really liked him when I got him first. I'm opening this tag. Kipper. My... I need to focus. My baby must stay close up to home until she is old enough to, to safely roam. My birthday is January 28th. <gasps> Wait, when I, I'm going to start this thing wherever my Beanie Boo has a birthday, my, I'm going to make my mom buy a new Beanie Boo. <laughs> And yeah, now on to the stories, story of my stitches. They're not still on, it's just, I used to have stitches on my fingers. And yeah, it's going to be really poorly drawn, because it's actually really long. So yeah, um, what can I use to hold it back? Does this work? I'll, I'll check. I'm going to put you in, back in the pencil box if it works. Take a few out. Okay, it's gonna be sideways, but who cares? Or, no, it's gonna be up high. It's gonna be highways. Where? Dang it, where's the pen thing? Here. Andrew, where is it? We found it. Well, I found it. Andrew just walked around. <laughs> okay, so. You're gonna be like this, because I'm gonna. Right. Laying down. Okay. So, um. My cousin and brother got a new four wheeler. And they really liked the, it. They loved it. I. I. It's. It's fine if I do it, but, like, I really don't. I don't like it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story. But, um, but then they, they got back from one of their adventures. Then, um, wait, it's the wrong way. Um, actually, let's just keep it like this. Um, <laughs> They said that, um, he found a little go-kart that 
me and two people could be in. There was a steer, a steer wheeler and then um, a passenger side. I was always in the passenger side and um, just holding on for dear life. But, but the bad thing is the battery didn't work. So we had to literally, my cousin thought of this. I told you, he's crazy. He tied a rope to his four-wheeler. And, you know, he's crazy, and I call him crazy for a reason. And, um, he said that he asked our grandma if we could do it. And, uh, she said, yeah, we could do it. Or, you guys could do it. So, um, I did it. But... It was it weren't successful a lot, but then one time one of Ryan's friends was driving and um he he didn't mean to do this, but he was just driving like this, like really curvy. But you were supposed to drive wherever the four wheeler uh, was, or else it would tip over. So he had to go right behind him, but he kept swerving it a lot, a lot. And, uh, a lot and a lot. So, um, then, uh, while he was swerving it, he heard me giggling over there. <laughs> That's not my laugh, but I was just laughing. So he thought to do it even harder. And then, um, the worst thing happened. He turned it a little bit too hard and the rope snapped, and we, uh, I went flying in the air. Well, I was still in the seat, but I, um, and also I was wearing a helmet, luckily, but I was in there, and it flipped. Um, I think I got, I actually got stuck in there. Yeah, so, um, I was holding on, here, I'll show you one. So there was this little bungee thing, then this, that the passenger could hold on, but I chose this one, the one in, the, well, no, it, this one wasn't a, cho a chosen thing, it was the bar on top of it, because there was a bunch of bars, and when we flipped, um, that bar hit the ground so hard that it pushed, like, the blood on my hand pushed so hard together that it ripped through my skin. Sorry, this is very creepy. Um, and there was blood literally everywhere, and it was halfway tipping over. My cousin literally drew, or, um, drove, like, for, um... He drove like 20 more seconds without knowing that the rope snapped and we were just screaming. Ah! Well, he was just driving his little vehicle. I, I, I can't trust my cousin anymore after that. And, um, so, um, in, there was a little window thing, but it was barred up. And I was stuck. I was stuck in the window on the window thing just wiggling my feet trying to get out uh, it hurt well it yeah it hurt a lot and um my dad heard me screaming he thought it was just a baby but it w it i wouldn't stop screaming with other people um and this was on the road, literally on the pavement. And he came out and looked, and he saw that I was limping, barely living, just walking over to the house because I was dying. And also, um, uh, Ryan's friend pulled me out of there so I could start walking back. We were all, Ryan didn't even try putting us on the back of his four-wheeler he was just driving he was gonna leave us there and get more people he is so he's 
It's his final brain cell. And then my dad saw me limping. So he picked me up and he was just carrying me. And my mom said that she got an accident once, but I don't remember what she said. And uh, she said she saw um, black, but I saw all white. Literally, the trees, they were white. And um, when she brought me, and when he brought me into Grandma's house, my mom was dying. She was so scared. And um, uh, this is after the thing when I recovered. She said, <laughs> that she didn't say it while I was bleeding, but she said it after as a joke, like, um, uh, inside her brain at a different time she was like oh, is it getting hot in here she was so scared and um Jared literally had to um like almost keep her alive and also I was so tired at that time I wanted to go to sleep for so long but my parents were smart enough and said I couldn't go to sleep in case of I got uh, my head hurt and I would go in a coma so they just rushed me to the hospital and my brother I hate him well I don't really I was mad at him at that time uh, my grandma and mom said that he was literally just playing his video games the whole time while I was dying. He was just up in Ryan's mansion house just playing video games. Yeah, literally, he is so rich. Um, he was just playing video games while I was dying. And um, he was still playing video games once um, someone told him. And then... Um, uh, I got stitches, and my mom said I didn't cry at all when I was getting the stitches. She just, she said that she just saw, um, ignore that. She just saw, like, me not liking it, I guess. She just saw, like, a little water in my eyes. Not really crying, just a little bit of water. And, um, yeah, and then a few minutes after, um, I got my stitches, I got them put together, um, I'm not gonna tell you, like, the whole story, but I'm just gonna tell you pretty much that, and guess what, this is the reason that I can't trust Ryan, my grandma came to me, or, my grandma said, why did you get hurt on the go buggy thing, I, I, um, and then, um, he, um, I said to her, Aunt Ryan asked you and, um, got your permission to do that. And then the shocking news came and she said, no, he didn't. He lied to me. He lied to all of us saying that we could go on there. I was so angry at him. One, like, literally, I might even, like, I'm gonna fart on his pillow and give him pink eye. Um, I'm not actually gonna do that. I'm just really mad at him. And, yeah, that's the story of how I got my stitches. These are just, this is just the scar of it, of the stitches. Then also right here. Um, also my elbow got really badly hurt and cut. And, yeah, that's the story of my stitches. And now we're going to do muddles. Um, so I think you, I told you once the, like, the whole story. Got to move some stuff. I think I told you the whole story when I was talking. So, I was swimming with my cousin. Well, mm, yeah, I'll tell you another story and then another. Um, you have two more stories to listen to. Um, I was swimming. My grandma was watching. Um, yeah, it went pretty well. But for some reason, I don't like swimming for too long. 
Um, well, no, I do, but, um, oh, you can see me, hi, um, and I just didn't want to swim for too long, so then, um, I got out of the, I got out of the pool, and my mom came and told me that she would be leaving to go to work, and also my dad and my mom had to go to work, so, um, I would just be here with Ryan's psychopath parents, and, um, he's taping his nose. This is the stuff that I have to deal with. I look like Peppa Pig. Please, everyone, if you're watching, please send help. Please, I'm dying. I told you, I'm dying. <laughs> and she told me that she would be leaving. And after a little bit, um, I went back into my grandma's house. And what I saw on my bed made me so happy, or so sad, but also happy. And um, she, I think she also told me that she went shopping and and got some snacks for me for when grandma's taking care of me so but then i saw on my bed a little note with muddles on under him and uh, at that note time i loved muddles so much i ran towards it read it but i don't remember what it said but um uh, yeah, and it had muddles on it, and, yeah, that's the story of muddles, and I'll do that cool little thing where, when I get, oh, tea, <laughs> I'll do that thing that I do with paper, and get muddles, okay, bye, or not bye yet, there's muddles, he's really cute, Get you the tag. It's hard using only one hand. Okay. Muddles. Nothing like playing in muddy puddles. Must be why everyone calls me Muddles. My birthday is July 22nd. Okay. To um, July is when my parents get married. And also, that means Muddles has a second name. Muddles is just his nickname. Because he said in his story, that must be why everyone calls me Muddles. So he has an actual name. And that's not it. That's cool. I have one more story that I'm going to tell, but I think I might do it um, later because I've done enough of the story things. Um... Yeah, uh, let's put these together. Andrew, come on, though. Coconut. Okay, dummy thick coconut. Okay, so, yeah, we're done with this video, and this is Justin and Andrew and dummy thick coconut signing out. Bye!